Race number three of the Gatorade Cup Series season number five heads out, or stays out west in Las Vegas for the Home Depot 400. So here is a look at our starting lineup. On the pole we have Jason Tomato Jr. Two is outside is Trey Rainey. Then you got Jeff Wright, Evan Hunter, and Cynthia Bright and Riley Spurley. Then you got John West and Joe Jefferson. Rang out the top tens, Michael Gregory and DJ Reed. Then you got Max Anderson and Julius Anderson. And also Adam Lewis and William Seaman. They got Michael Cantone and Brady Wormness, Code Luigi and Tim Randolph. They got Javier Hernandez and Josh Lamito, Isaac Nichols and Brandon Tharp, Francis Dustin and Carter Friesen, Jonathan Beefer and TJ Hanley, Eli Bright and Alexander Rowe, then Wyatt Walker and Jay Jefferson, Luke Rainey and Alex Stewart, last race winner Kevin Bannon and two is outside Levi Shones, Andrew Miller and Katie Samito, Marcus Sachi and Justin Heath. Tim Gary, Patrick Smith, Keegan Thompson, and Derek Bouchard. Now it's at the 42 car field, 41 laps here at Las Vegas. Let's go down track side for the command. I'm Staff Sergeant Proto with the soldiers of the 1st Cavalry Division. Gentlemen, start your engines. All right, everybody, just like what we talked about, the transporter. Nice and easy. It's a long race. Settle in. It'll be nice and smooth. Go out there and kick some butt tonight. This is your house. The field rolls off. 41 laps around this 1.5 mile D-shaped oval. It's going to be a lot of passing and lead changing as it's basically pack racing on a 1.5 mile track. Your points leader is Joe Jefferson. He starts the race back in row number four in seventh position. So he's starting in a pretty good spot to keep that points lead. Pace car in. Jason Smith Jr. and Trey Rainey lead the field down to the line. And we are racing here at Las Vegas. Jason Smith Jr. gets off turn number two with the lead. Now down the back stretch, Riley Sparely Tube. Four secondary, Evan Hunter. He's going to clear him. And off of turn number four to lead lap number one, it's going to be Jason Smith Jr. from the pole. Leads lap one. Now Joe Jefferson, your points, of the, looks to the bottom for the second position, possibly for the lead as they enter turn one. He got a big push underneath Jason Smith Jr. Michael Gregory pushes Joe Jefferson to the race lead. But now Gregory's going to look underneath him as they come down the back straightaway. Max Anderson is also there in there. Red number 83 car as Michael Gregory will take the race lead off of turn number four. But now Max Anderson peaks low. It's just going to be a big cycle of cars. As now Max Anderson takes the lead, but behind him that's William Seaman in the 38. Can Seaman make a move underneath? He does down the back straightaway. Seaman trying to clear off turn number four. He can't quite do it. And now he does off a of four. He doesn't move up, so he leaves the inside lane. And now he goes up, moves out of the way. Michael Cantle will now take the race lead. Now Code Luigi is there in that number 42 car. Code looking to make it three wide. He backs out of that just a little bit. Cantle might slide up right here. He does, and now Code Luigi looks for the race lead. It's been a pretty good season so far for that 42 team. And uh, he's looking to keep that rolling and lead a lap. That's some bonus points. And behind them, some drivers that have not had very good seasons so far. You got Josh Tomito and Isaac Nichols, two drivers that have had some pretty bad luck in their first two starts. But still a long season left to make the chase. And they just have to focus forward, leave what's behind. They can get up there. And a lot of these drivers, we're going to see a lot of winners this season. Isaac Nichols now looks for the race lead. Josh Tomito got it. Nichols now going to get off of turn number four. Brandon Tharp in that six car is behind him. And also Francis Dustin in that 27 car. As now Tharp looks for the race lead. Dustin there pushing him through. And now Francis will look to the bottom lane. Can Tharp protect it? No, he, he almost got put three wide middle right there. That's a dangerous position to be in. Three wide at Las Vegas sometimes works, but most of the time it doesn't. And I got TJ Hanley to the bottom lane, that number 30 card. They might go three wide right here. No, Dustin trying to get up. Looks like he does get up. And Hanley got a big jump because of that. They start uh, side drafting back there, slowing each other down. Hanley gets clear. Can he get down to the bottom in front of Alexander Rowe and try and lead this lap? It looks like he's going to be able to do it. That's the front two, front three clear. Here comes last race winner Kevin Ban looking to go two in a row on the West Coast swing. He's coming for third.
And Alexander Rowe on the back bumper of TJ Hanley. Kevin Bannon going to give up second to Andrew Miller as Miller comes to the bottom lane. Yeah, the pack kind of spread out just a little bit there from whatever reason the top lane's kind of fallen and now the uh the bomb lane definitely the place to be all the time but it looks more prevalent than before as alexander Rowe does have a run on to tj hanley does he make the move down the back straight away andrew miller is gonna make the move for second instead so miller gonna go for second here hanley still left out there leading Tim Gary in that 16 car, possibly coming for third. He's going to get underneath the row. Keegan Thompson in that number 98 car. He's had some pretty bad luck. And right behind him, Car Friesen, also the same boat as Keegan is, just in the bad luck boat. See far away down the, down the back stretch. Can't really see who's who. This is where the spotters are located, so they also have binoculars to see, but it's very, very hard sometimes. Hanley still on the lead. Andrew Miller, though, has help behind him. He could make the move now as he has Tim Gary that could go with him. Carter Friesen up to fourth. And so you got Swan racing out front. RCR right there. And then you got two Roush cars. And those Roush guys going to try and gang up on the ones in front of him. Tim Gary looks to the inside. Carter Friesen stays high. Yeah, Tim Gary trying to clear. He has no drafting help, but the third car coming down in front of him in that lane is really going to help him out. There might be three wide back there with the nine car in the middle. That's Justin Heath. They are three wide. In the middle, that's Jay Jefferson. Up top, that's Kevin Bandon. And down low, that's Eli Bright, who won this race last season. It was on a little bit of a fuel mileage, but he did get it done. Looks like they sailed that three wide out. And as we look back up to the front, Tim Gary trying to run down TJ Hanley. And right behind him, it's Derek Bouchard in the number 34 car. And also Patrick Smith in the 51 is coming. They're going to go three wide right here. Luke Rainey to the bottom lane. Cynthia Bright behind. Derek Bouchard up top. He's going to get down in line. And now they're still top of file, thankfully. In the front two pull away. Tim Gary on the back bumper of Hanley. But he doesn't really have anyone to help him make that move. Luke Rainey trying to cover for third. Looks like Cynthia Bright's going to get to the inside. Wyatt Walker finished second to Kevin Bam by half a car length. Last race at Auto Club, looking for a redemption. He's coming for a top five spot. He's up to fourth. Now looking for third. He has a big push from Tim Randolph in that blue number nine three. Cynthia tried to protect, couldn't quite get it done right there. That could cost a big wreck if she came down front of that 36 car. And if White Walker can bring Tim Randolph clear with them, they both can move up and they can both have a shot at catching those front two as Tim Gary has been on the back bumper of Hanley for quite some time now. Just no way he's going to make a pass by himself. But with Wyatt Walker coming, it might work. As the front three, you have Toyota, Ford, Chevy. Just shows three of the four manufacturers how it makes a difference. But now Tim Randolph looks underneath Wyatt Walker for third. Now can the Tims team up? Tim Gary has a run. This time he's going to get underneath Hanley for the race lead. Down the back stretch, Tim Randolph. Trying to give help to Tim Gary as they enter turn three. Tim Gary out front at Vegas. But now here comes Tim ran off to the bottom lane. And look who's gone back down line. Andrew Miller in that number 31 car back down to the bottom lane. Tim Randolph clears for the race lead. But he has Justin Heath behind him looking low. Heath was upside down yesterday in a scary accident. He's okay, luckily. As now Heath clears for the race lead. Patrick Smith now looking low. They're three wide back there. Hanley goes to the middle lane. He did that voluntarily too. He got a big run on Tim Gary. Looks to the middle lane for Hanley. That shows all the way to the bottom lane. He's been having a pretty decent season so far. And now Andrew Miller underneath Patrick Smith for the race lead. Cynthia Bright is there in that number 24 car. And watch that three wide though. They're getting pretty close. Hopefully TJ can hold it there without wrecking into Evan Hunter and uh, outside of him he has Justin Heath and Cynthia Bright clears. Levi Shones to second, possibly looking for the race lead down the back straightaway. Here he comes with a big run. They're three wide behind Evan Hunter trying to make a move. TJ Hanley's still stuck in the middle there, but he has a hole behind Evan Hunter. If he can get down in it. 
Now Hunter looks for the race lead. And the pack is tight behind them. Oh, Hunter had to lift right there. He got a little tight in the middle of the corner. Had to just burp that throttle ever so slightly. White Walker got a pretty good run onto him. Couldn't make the move, though. Luckily, they're managing this three wide right now. But towards, towards the end of this race, if they go three wide, it's not going to be as manageable. So it looks like Hanley does have a hole up if he wants to do it. Now he's going to stay underneath. White Walker, Luke Ray behind him, reigning Alex for the race lead. And that's one thing about being in the middle. Like if you're Hanley, you're in the middle lane. It's kind of equal to the bottom. Just a little bit off the bottom lane. So he's not really losing any ground. He's staying where he is. And he's, he's just having to hope for a hole down the bottom lane or in the outside lane to start uh, getting down either into the race lead or getting to the back. Bray Ronas now takes the race lead. Behind him in that number 13 car, that's Alex Stewart. And Jason Smale Jr., your pole sitter, has come all the way back up to the front. He got, he got out front, led a lap, fell all the way back to the back of the pack, and now here he is coming for third. And don't count out Joe Jefferson there, your polls, or your points leader. He's right behind your pole sitter, Jason Smale Jr. Is, TJ has finally found a hole up top, so they go back to double file racing up at the front. And now Smale Jr. looks for the race lead down the back straightaway. Joe Jefferson pushed him through. Javier Hernandez in that 70 is also there. And also something you have to watch out for if they do it, green flag pit stops. They're at the point where they can make it on fuel now on one stop. But if a caution comes out, they're definitely going to be pitting. If a caution doesn't come out, they're going to have to make green flag pit stops, which could be very treacherous here at Las Vegas. So we're going to have to watch for those with about 12, 13, 14 laps to go. That's around when they're going to be pitting. Joe Jefferson out front, and he's going to lead a lap. That's five bonus points as they are now three wide for the race lead. In the middle, Javier Hernandez. Down low, Michael Canto. Joe Jefferson all the way up top. And now they're going back, 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 three wide. Code Luigi to second. Trey Rainey started outside of the pole. He's coming up to the front again. Watch Javier Hernandez there. Stuck in that middle lane. If they get three wide close together, this could bring out the caution that teams are going to want to pit. Trey Rainey to second. DJ Reed to third. They're three wide now. Cold Luigi is the one up top. Javier Hernandez still stuck in the middle there. Michael Gregory down low. If, if they just don't get too tight on the car inside, they'll be all right. They're shuffling. Can Javier move up? He has a lane. He has a hole, and he does. Hernandez moves up to the top. Michael Gregory, last season's champion, for third. Possibly even for second down the back straightaway. Got a big run. A big hole behind the 87 there of John West. And some cars will move down into that. Oh, some cars are coming down pit road. That's why you heard some of the cars letting off. Looks like the first car in is Luke Rainey. He may have missed his pit stall as he really came flying in there. He's got to back it up down pit road. Hopefully that doesn't affect anyone else's pit stall. So he gets in. So pit cycles have started. Here comes Michael Gregory, Derek Bouchard, Michael Cantwell late at entry. He makes it within the lines. And hopefully they don't make any contact. And to pit rows, there is a car around. Does that bring out yellow? No caution. In fact, there's a car around, though. This is where a lot of damage can happen here. On pit road. Looks like everyone gets there cleanly in that cycle somehow. And left out, Jay Jefferson, Cynthia Bright, Jeff Bright, Francis Dustin, TJ Henley, Joe Jefferson, Alexander Rowe, and John West. As most of these guys will make their way to their pit stalls, probably all of them. Yes. So Justin Heath, first off of that group, the first group that pitted, Justin Heath gets out in front. And Michael Canto, first out of the main group. But he has Derek Bouchard and Code Luigi and others in a lane right here. And where is Justin Heath going to end up with those guys? He's coming flying in because he didn't have to check up for anyone else pitting. He just pitted first. He could possibly 
get up to the race lead here. I don't know if he's going to be close enough. That's Yeah, it looks like he's, he's going to be up in the top five probably, though. Because here comes Jay Jefferson and others coming off of pit road. Yeah, and the cars are already flying on by. See, John West with his damage. He gets out and away. Michael Canto will be your race leader. And then second, you got those guys that are on track now. And these guys right here that are coming off, they're going to lose many positions because they're the last ones to come down pit road. They had to check up for everyone. And some cars are going to get stuck a lap down because they either got spun out or hit and got damaged or they missed their pit stalls. See, for example, Luke Rainey, who I believe is a lap. He's still on pit road because he missed his pit stall. Possibly some problems there with that two team. So bad luck for Luke Rainey once again. He flies down pit road, locks them up, and he misses his pit stall. So Michael Canto out front. Then you got Derek Bouchard and Koluigi Ballon behind for second. That's not what Code and Derek want. Is yeah, Evan Hunter's lap down and now Luke Rainey is multiple laps down. And last time by it was 1.5. This time it's 1.0. 10 laps to go. And there's a three-car battle for second. And now they're gonna be running down Michael Canto. Look at how fast they are going in that draft. Just Neath is also up here. So it's going to be about five-car battle for the win, unless Javier Hernandez and others can try and close him, but I don't think that's going to happen without a yellow. DJ Reed to second, and they are within feet of Michael Canto now. Just shows how much the draft means here. DJ Reed could go all the way to the lead here down the back straight. He got a huge run. He's looking low for the race lead. Don't count out Derek Bouchard there in third. Just Neath in fourth. Cold Luigi in fifth. Now Derek Bouchard looks for the race lead. So this is a little bit five car um, cycle here. Javier Hernandez has closed the gap. It's three tenths lower than it was last time. They have gained three tenths. So watch out for that mini pack to try and make a charge up onto this five car pack. And we'll see if they can. If they can get just a little bit closer, they will definitely gain enough to get up there in time. Derek Bouchard with the race lead. Now Justin Heath looks to the bottom lane. Code Luigi with help. And now Luigi looks for second. They gained another three tenths that time by. So right now five cars have a shot. Out front of it all is Derek Bouchard, Cole Luigi in second, Michael Canto, DJ Reed, Justin Ethan, this five-car pack. They're all single file now. Javier Hernandez, Julius Anderson, and others are trying to close on in. But they're starting to battle back there. That's not what they need. They're going to be losing ground if they start battling. These guys get single file. Watch out for Cole Luigi. He has a run down the back stretch. Looking low on Derek Bouchard for the race lead. Come to five to go. Cole Luigi out in front at Las Vegas. He's from California, so he's not that far from... Uh, this track five to go if the caution comes out the race is over they're slowly gaining behind but I don't think it's going to be enough unless these guys start bound like they are now but these guys are also bound back here there's about 12 12th place on back now DJ Reed going to take the race lead from Michael Canto to the stripe this time four laps to go they do have lap cars ahead Luke Rainey has come out of the pits in 42nd. Multiple laps down. Does he give the leaders the lanes they want? He's not slow, per se. He's just not in the draft, and he is slower than what these guys are running. It's going to take a lot for that pack behind to catch, but these guys are single file again. They're bound for third back there. DJ Reed and Michael Canto trying to pull away. They get behind Luke Rainey. This could potentially help Code Luigi, Derek Bouchard, and Justin Heath get up there. As Reed gets underneath Michael Canto, or excuse me, Reed gets underneath Luke Rainey, Michael Canto stays with Rainey. And now Code Luigi's going to have a big run onto these guys. Canto hangs a left to get underneath Luke Rainey. Come to two to go this time, three miles left. DJ Reed is out front. Do they catch Jonathan Buford and does that play a factor? Here comes for a second, Code Luigi. Derek Bouchard has been pushing Luigi up there. Two to go at Las Vegas. They are catching Jonathan B for DJ Reed, trying to hold on. But Code Luigi and Derek Bouchard have a run. Buford is being caught by DJ Reed. Code Luigi has come with the big run. It's going to be decided on the last lap. Here they come. White flag. 
Luigi looks to the bottom. DJ Reed cuts him off. White flag. One more time around. And Cole Luigi gets left by Derek Bouchard. Now does Bouchard have a run for DJ Reed? Down the back straightaway for the final time. Bouchard trying to close in on Reed. I don't think it's going to happen as they hit three and four. And off of turn number four. DJ Reed gets up front. He's able to hold off Derek Bouchard and others. DJ Reed wins at Las Vegas. DJ Reed gets it done. Gets out front lane. He holds on. See the cars that were about to go lap down. Here come others to finish. But DJ Reed wins it at Las Vegas. Let's go and check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Home Depot 400 at Las Vegas. There are no caution flags. A very tame Las Vegas race. 22 lead change among 19 different drivers. DJ Reed got out front late and he held it off. Derek Bouchard started 42nd. He ends up second. Great day for him. Justin Ethan third. Co Luigi fourth. That's a very good points day for him. And Michael Canto ends up fifth. Alex Stewart in 6th, Alexander Rowe 7th, Julius Anderson in 8th, Isaac Nichols 9th, and Avi Hernandez 10th. So there's your top 20. And this is what a lot of drivers needed in terms of good days to get themselves back into a rhythm. Um, as you can see, your pole sitter, Jason Smale Jr., led two laps. He ends up 18th. Joe Jefferson, your points leader, ends up 19th. He retains the points lead. Eli Bright, your winner of this race last season, he ends up 14th in that number 88 car. Solid day for him. As you now look down 21st to 40th. TJ Hanley led the most laps. He got out front for nine laps and uh, held off the shuffle. He ends up 22nd. He was one of the last ones to pit. So he kind of had to slow down for some others. 38 cars finished on the lead lap. A lot of pit road problems. And in the middle of it all was uh, Luke Rainey as he missed his pit stall. He ends up 42nd, six laps down. A disappointing day for him, along with Evan Hunter, Jonathan Beefer, and Wyatt Walker. Well, let's now go look at those point standings. Here are the point standings. After three races, Joe Jefferson still holds on to the points lead by 38 points over Code Luigi, who is now second in points. DJ Reed is third in points after that victory here today. Javier Hernandez is fourth, and Alex Stewart is fifth. Eli Bright is now sixth. TJ Hanley is seventh. Alexander Rowan eighth. Andrew Miller ninth. And Brandon Tharp rounds out the top 10. So there's your top 20 in the points. See, two of our winners are in the top 10, and your other winner, Kevin Bannon, after a disappointing day at Las Vegas, nowhere to be seen in the top 20. As he had a very disappointing day, finished towards the back of the field, and that's ha that has him 23rd in the points, so he can't even use his win as a wild card spot yet. And now some of these drivers starting to kick it on. As you can see, Car Friesen has moved up to 26th in the points. Jason Smale Jr. up to 24th. Isaac Nichols and Jeff Bright get into the top 30. And then others down here. Julius Harrison kicks it out of the. Uh, he was down below 40th, I believe. He's kicked it out. He's up to 33rd. Jay Jefferson kind of stuck there. Cynthia Bright, Adam Lewis, Keegan Thompson, Evan Hunter, Luke Rainey. They need some very big help to come their way. As the next race, the final race of the West Coast Swing, the Gatorade 500 at Phoenix. See you guys then.